Hi, it's Miss Hagley. I hope you have time today to join me to make a craft. It's so simple and it's pretty quick. So um, you just need a few things from around your house. You might have to ask mom or dad for one of them. So um, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna make and then I'm gonna stand up so you're not gonna see me because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing on the paper, okay? So we're gonna make a picture today of these cute little chicks. Can you see them? They're just so cute. Perfect for Easter time, springtime is here, so I figured we'd do something quick and easy. So all you really need is a white piece of paper, some yellow paint, I keep mine in a jar, it just makes it um, last a little bit longer. And you're gonna need a stamp. And what I used was um, a cork. So this is what maybe you're gonna have to use, ask mom and dad for, okay? So it comes in a bottle, from a bottle, and this is what's gonna make the shape of the chick. Okay, we're gonna use that as our stamp. Again, if you don't have anything like that, you can always cut it out of a sponge, okay? So I just cut a circle out of the sponge. All right, so um, there's always ways to um, use something different and have it come out pretty much the same way. So we're gonna get started. So here's my yellow piece of paper, just right from our printer at home. And I'm gonna open up my yellow paint. And again, I'm gonna stand up so you're not gonna see me, but you'll see what I'm doing. So I just have my white piece of paper. And what we can do is just pour a little bit right on the lid, so we don't need a lot. Just pour it a little bit on my lid. And I'm gonna take my cork, and I'm gonna gently chip, um, dip it into the yellow. Okay, oh, there's yellow paint on there. And then I'm just gonna decide where I wanna put my chicks. You might have to dip it back in the paint and just put them every which way. They're kind of small, so you can add a few, okay? So I did five. You can do more, you can do fewer. It's totally up to you. So we're done with the cork and the, our stamp. And what we're gonna do to make the little wings is I still have my yellow paint on the lid. I just have a Q-tip, okay? If you have a paintbrush, a paintbrush will work, but I, I'm gonna use a Q-tip. I figured that was easier than searching for paintbrushes. Just a little bit on my Q-tip from the yellow, and you're just gonna uh, make little wings on your chick. Can you see what I did? So just dip it back in, you don't need a lot. Just give him a little wings on either side of his body. So, so far that's what it looks like. Okay. Now if you have googly eyes, you can use googly eyes. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna just use a black marker. So I have a Sharpie I have a black marker too. Either one's gonna work. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit before I put his eyes on though, okay? But we can do his legs, so same thing. You have a black crayon maybe? Black crayon will work for the legs. So let's make his legs. And it's just, I'll turn it this way so you can see hopefully. So it's just gonna be two lines down from his body and then give him a little feet. See how I did that? So we're gonna do that for all of them. Just two little lines down and then add his little feet. Really simple, but so cute. So you could hang this in your house to help decorate for the spring. Okay, so now they all have little legs and little feet. And now we have to do the beak. So all you need is a teeny tiny bit of orange construction paper. And if you don't have construction paper, just use another strip of white with an orange crayon or an orange marker. Okay, so that works the same. So all I did to make the beak was you take your strip and cut a little square off of that and you're gonna fold it in half. You see how I folded it in half? 
and then you're just gonna make a little triangle. So if mom or, or dad or one of your older brothers or sisters are around, they might be able to help you with this. And I made a little beak, can you see it? So we're just gonna take some glue. I just have Elmer's glue, liquid glue, and put a little dab on the back. And then each one of them is gonna get a beak. And I already had made a few others so we can speed this up. I'm just gonna put the beaks on. Oh, it looks so cute. And it's so bright with the yellow and the orange. It's really nice. It's a beautiful sunny day out today too. So I hope some of you are gonna go out and play, get some exercise. Good time to ride your bike if you have a bike or a scooter. Even jump rope or something like that. Really good, good exercise. So I'm gonna show you, they all have beaks now. Can you see it sideways? So they all have beaks. So the only thing left is the eyes. So um, like I said, I want the yellow to dry just a little bit more, but if you wanted to do um, googly eyes, you could do those right now. So I'll do one with googly eyes, but I just, I'm gonna wait and do um, the marker on the rest of them for the eyes, but just so you can see, just so cute. See them down there? Isn't that cute? So you can do even more. Once you do a few and you decide, oh, I think I want more, just re you know, get your stamp back out and fill it in some more. You could put grass down the bottom with a green marker. You could make some a sun and some clouds up at the top. You could put as many um, as there are in your family, make all those chicks. So I hope you liked that craft and um, this is the finished one, I'll dry with the eyes, just so you can see it one more time. So I hope you like that crap. Thanks for joining me today, and um, have a great day. Get outside, bye.